Uh, the last three years we've done uh, consecutive uh, construction projects. This is phase three um, of the north unit and throughout the whole process we've taken out numerous uh, outdated culverts, water control structures, other barriers um, that were restricting access for juvenile salmonids and tidal processes to these these wetlands and slough networks. So right now we're actually just to the south of Cunningham Lake which is a large water body um, and we had a former uh, earth berm with culvert that uh, undersized culvert, about a three foot culvert going across this. It was restricting access to about 25, uh, 28 acres of wetland habitat. And then um, this bridge is 53 foot? Yep, 53 and a half feet, um, yep, end to end. And it, is it primarily for, for for vehicles or foot traffic or both? Or? It, it, is, uh, it is primarily for foot traffic, for um, for hunters, for people out here hiking, um, other recreationalists, it's for foot traffic. And then um, it has the ability to accommodate some, uh, some traffic for the refuge, refuge only vehicles, uh, tractors and things like that that they need for maintenance. So the entire north unit is actually about 1,600 acres of sloughs, wetlands, forests. Um, we have restored through these three, three phases, we will have opened up access for about 330 acres of habitat that was previously uh, restricted access to, to uh, juvenile salmon. It's just exciting to see how much it's changed for the positive once we reintroduce access, we reintroduce tidal processes, how the wetlands have responded to that. Uh, it's pretty rewarding for sure.